धातु ब्रह्म संप्रोक्त जीवाख्यादुच्यते प्रकृति कृषि बंतादिधातु ब्रह्मात्म नम नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंड व्यक्त संभव अंड सियांत मे लोका सप्त द्वीपा चेदी Any questions from last class? Okay, no questions. Okay, so let's look at the. Uh, so last sentence we looked at was shuddha satvasya okay i'll have to open i've already done some padacheda to it sharada शुद्ध सत्व से ज्ञान निष्ठा योग्यता प्राप्ति द्वारा ज्ञानोत्पत्ति हेतु निश्चय से हेतु प्रतिपद्य थे सो अर्यर इट वॉज सेट धर्म दिस अभ्युदार्थ अभी यह प्रवृत्ति लक्षण धर्म दैट धर्म विच इज प्रवृत्ति लक्षण प्रवृत्ति लक्षण ये धर्म से सधर्म प्रवृत्ति लक्षण धर्म दैट धर्म विच हेज प्रवृत्ति विच इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय प्रवृत्ति एंगेजमेंट सो कर्मकांड धर्म इन वेद वैदिक धर्म विच इज इन्वॉल्व इन कर्मकांड विच इज डिस्कस्ड इन कर्मकांड वेदर वेर दी स्वर्ग फला और एनी अदर कर्म फला इज द फोकस ऑफ द एक्शन देर सो विच इज एंगेजमेंट इन एक्शन दैट धर्म ऑल्सो इज सेट हियर शुद्ध सत्व से फर्स्ट इट ऑफ सेट दैट that dharma which is the hetu even though it is hetu for prapti of devadi sthana still when it is practiced with anushtiyamana when it is practiced with buddhi with what buddhi buddhi of ishvara arpana when offered to ishvara through that buddhi when the same kamya karma also actually not karma karma but we can take kamya karma also but they will not remain kamya anymore because you don't desire the devadi sthana but you offer that karma which is prescribed with the buddhi of ishvara arpana you offer unto the lord and when it is practiced in that manner sattva shuddha is equal to antakarana shuddha bhavati that causes antakarana shuddhi phala bhi sandhi varjita bereft of association with the phala because kartrut bhava is gone you are doing it because it is prescribed and you offer unto the lord therefore the phala also will not accrue to you there will be phala some phala which will do good and that good is sattva shuddhi antakarana shuddhi then the person who has the shuddha antakarana shuddha sat, shuddha sattvasya and earlier i asked this sattva shuddha here and shuddha sattva here the uh, the answer was not clear to everyone so i'll just explain shuddha sattva if you make it sattva shuddha then it cannot be bahuri because in bahuri so here shuddha shuddha which is said here if you keep it sattva shuddha then this shuddha is shuddha plus ta ta is a nishtha pratyaya and nishtha pratyaya in bahuri goes in the earlier pada so when it is anya pada pradana here it is not anya pada pradana here it is sattva uh, sattva se shu, uh, shuddhi here shuddhi word is there of course not shuddha but sattva shuddhi and shuddha sattva cannot be sattva shuddha and there still mean anya pada it has to be anya pada pradana therefore the person who is shuddha sattva person who has shuddha sattva सत्व शुद्ध सत्व यस्य साधक सह साधक शुद्ध सत्व शुद्ध 
being tanta meaning nishtanta nishtha goes in purva pada in the bahuri so shuddham sattvam yasya purushasya sadakasya va sa sadaka shuddha sattva and tasya shuddha sattvasya sadakasya cha for this person who has shuddha antakarana due to this pravritti lakshana dharma what happens jnana nishta yogyata prapti dwarena jnana utpatti hetu tvena cha nishreyasa hetu tvam api pratipadjati this dharma so you have to bring the anuvritti of dharma here pravritti lakshana dharma ha pratipadjati dharma attains that dharma karma kanda dharma also attains which is done with ishura arpana buddhi attains the status hetu tvam status of being the hetu for cause for nishreyasa nishreyasa is moksha how can that dharma karma kanda dharma or karma itself give you uh, can it can it itself be the cause for moksha no why are this so jnana nishtha yogya yogyata prapti dwarana jnanotpatti hetu tvena cha by two means one by being the dwara dwara as in by the means by the means of uh, prapti attainment of yogyata fitness yogyata you see this tal pratya yogi uh, yogyata so yogyata prapti dwarana is through the means of attainment of fitness fitness in what fitness in fitness for nishtha in jnana we will see the samasa <coughs> sorry and and also as the hetu for utpatti of jnana because only in a uh, in a shuddha sattva in a for a shuddha sattva meaning when there is sattva shuddhi then that kind of a person becomes shuddha sattva and only in the shuddha sattva not the person i am saying in the antakarana which is shuddha there can be utpatti of jnana there can be rise of knowledge therefore this dharma which causes uh, sattva shuddhi that becomes the cause for rise of knowledge so due to that reason and then thereby it becomes the means dwara so dwara is literally door but as a means as a pathway pathway to what pathway to attainment of fitness in jnana nishtha so that is the meaning of this sentence so shuddha sattvasya i have already told the samasa so for a seeker with a purified mind for the seeker with a purified mind that pravritti lakshana dharma pratipadyate pratipadyate attains attains what so therefore there is a karma akanksha attains the nishreyasa hetutvam attains the status nishreyasya hetutvam it attains the hetutva hetutva is bhava nirdesha so bhava nirdesha by not bhava nirdesha it is bhava pratyaya tasya bhava hetoho bhava hetutvam so it attains the status of hetu cause of liberation nishreyasa and by what by being the cause by being the cause of jnanotpatti so jnanasya utpatti jnanotpatti jnanotpatte hetutvena so i was jnanotpatte he hetu hu you can say jnanotpatte hetu and jnanotpatte het jnanotpatte he hetu jnanotpatti hetu and jnanotpatti hetu heto ho bhavah jnanotpatte hetutvam tena jnanotpatti hetutvena so shortcut is what to write once you understand that just jnanotpatte hetutvena as being the cause for jnanotpatti hi that is one reason that is one means and another means in tritiya is mentioned as dwara dwarena so jnane nishtha jnana nishtha this we have already seen saptami tatpurusha tasya yogyata tasya is what nishthaya jnana nishthaya yogyata jnana nishtha yogyata jnana nishtha yogyataya prapti hi attainment of jnana nishtha yogyata sashti tatpurusha again and tat prapti rupena dwarena so here i uh, preferred a uh, madhyapada lopa samasa where you add rupa so prapti is the dwara in the form of prapti dwara to prapti or dwara uh, prapti rupa dwara so through the attainment through the means in the form of attainment 
so that's the rupa there or you can say uh, praptehe dwara also as a means to attainment of so that is also a way to do it so means to attainment will also be a shashti uh, tatpurusha praptehe dwara but there is no real dwara so this dwara is uh, it, it is a it's a figurative expression so prapti dwara in english you can't say as a doorway to so it's by means of so by means of can be uh, the shashti uh, tatpurusha uh, or you can say prapti rupena dwarena where the dwara is the attainment itself so attainment itself there is prapti rupena dwarena that will be like a karma dharya with a madhyama padalopa rupa so dwara in the form of means which is in the form of attainment so means of or the way i have translated means in the form of in the form of attainment so let's keep it at that in the form of attainment of so you can translate with maybe better words so that's the idea here next sentence says so uh, those who have trouble making the construct i have made a translation uh, some kind of a translation to put all those together you can say and for one with a purified mind this is a person bhauri shuddha satvasya that is for one with a pu- purified mind dharma also attains the status of being the cause for liberation by being the cause for rise of knowledge and by the means of fitness for abidance in knowledge so these are the two means by which dharma attains uh, dharma attains the status means for dharma becomes the cause for liberation same dharma which is prakriti lakshana dharma that actually causes the uh, sattva shuddhi and causes jnana it leads to sanyasa so thereby it is important tathacha so tathacha तथा च इमं अर्थम अभिसंधाय वक्षति 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 इज व्हाट व्हिच लकारा वच धातु यू रिमूव वच धातु टिप व्हाट रिमेंस वच चोहो क्यू इट विल बिकम वक सो लिट लकारा लिट लकारा फ्यूचर टेंस विल स्टेट हु विल स्टेट भगवान विल स्टेट इन गीता तथा च इमं अर्थम इमं दिस वेरी आइडिया अर्थम इज आइडिया हियर सेम आइडिया तथा च इमं अर्थ एंड सिमिलरली दिस वेरी आइडिया भगवान विल स्टेट और टॉक अबाउट अभिसंधाय और दिस वेरी आइडिया टेकिंग इन टू अकाउंट अभिसंधाय इज अभी अभिपूर्वक संपूर्वक धा धातु धा धारण पोषण यो एंड यप यू सी य abhisandhaya here see when it is an akaranta dhatu that time you have to be careful whether this ya uh, this aya you see whether it is like ramaya this can be confused as chaturthi uh, ekavachana it is not chaturthi ekavachana it is labanta labanta avyaya so yap this dha dhatu has taken twa but abhi purvaka sampurvaka dha dhatu Uh, will cause this the upasargas will cause the twa pratyaya to be replaced by yap content of yap is here so abhisandhaya means what having done something having done what having taken into account having held having held this very idea or view and so similarly and similarly in continuation with the earlier sentence and similarly taking into account or keeping in view having taken into account this very idea bhagavan will say vakshati what will he say brahmanyadaya karmani yoga yogina karma kurvanti sangam tyaktva atma shuddhaye iti so iti vakshati he will say this what will he say so uh, bhagavan bhashyakara very nicely puts the parts of uh, 5.10 and 5.11 together instead of taking the entire shloka and explaining it he puts the very words needed from 510 and from 511 so brahmani adhaya brahmanya adhaya brahmani adhaya karmani so ishwara arpan buddhi brahmani brahmani ishware adhaya karmani adhaya is also lep lebanta like this uh, abhisandhaya abhisandhaya here adhaya having offered karmas 
टू ब्रह्म अन टू ब्रह्म अन टू ईश्वरा वॉट वॉट डू पीपल डू सो नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस पार्ट ऑफ द नेक्स्ट श्लोका ही टेक्स इन एंड मेक्स अ कंस्ट्रक्ट लाइक दैट हैविंग ऑफवर्ड कर्माज अन टू ईश्वरा और ब्रह्म सगुण ब्रह्म सॉरी योगिन योगिन प्रथमा बहुवचन योगी इज वॉट डू दे योगिन इज कर्म योगिन द कर्म योगी इज डू कर्म कुरुवंती योगिन कुरुवंती दे डू वॉट डू दे डू कर्म सो कर्म योगी इज ऑल्सो परफॉर्म कर्म हाउ संगम त्यक्वा आत्मशुद्ध संगम त्यक्वा त्यक्वा सो योगिन संगम त्यक्वा कर्म कुरुवंती दे डू कर्म हैविंग गिवन अप दटैचमेंट त्यक्वा वॉट हैविंग गिवन अप वॉट संगम सो द्वितीय एक वचन दिस इज ऑल्सो द्वितीय एक वचन कर्म कर्म इज नॉट योगिन कर्म कर्म त्यक्वा बिकॉज जस्ट बिकॉज वी कैन अरेज दी वर्ड्स डज नॉट इट शुड ऑल्सो मेक सेंस इन संस्कृत यू कैन हैव हाउ एवर यू कैन द वर्ड्स प्लेस एनी विच वे कर्म इज इन सेकेंड विभक्ति संगम इन सेकेंड विभक्ति वॉट विल हैपन इफ आई स्विच दिस योगिन संगम कुरुवंती कर्म त्यक्वा सो दैट इज नॉट वर्क बट देर आर पीपल हू मेक सच इंटरप्रिटेशन नॉट हियर एल्स वेर सो वी शुड नॉट do that it should make sense so you karma yogis do perform karmas having given up attachment to karma and its results because they offer karma and karma phala also unto ishwara by extension for what purpose atma shuddha here atma is uh, not atma atma is always shuddha so atma here is uh, antakarana similar to the word here uh, that we saw sattva सत्व आत्मा ऑल इसे आत्मा कैन बी रिफ्लेक्सिव आत्मा कैन बी द मुख्य आत्मा इट कैन बी गौण आत्मा इट कैन बी मिथ्या आत्मा इट कैन बी शरीर ऑल्सो इट कैन बी अंतकरण मन ऑल दीज इंटरप्रिटेशन इट कैन बी रिफ्लेक्सिव प्रोनाउन ऑल्सो सो बेस्ड ऑन द कॉन्टेक्स द आत्मा वर्ड हैज टू बी आत्मा कैन ऑल्सो मीन स्वरूप सो बेस्ड ऑन द कॉन्टेक्स यू हैव टू इंटरप्रिट वॉट आत्मा आत्मन शब्द मीन्स यर so uh, here it means atma shuddhi is antakarana shuddhi so tatha cha imam artham abhisandhaya these are imam and artham are karma as to abhisandhaya abhisam bha yap having intended or having taken into account what this very idea and similarly or so to vakshati he will say bhagwan will say so you have to add a uh, word here bhagavan will say what will he say in gita brahmani adhaya so brahmani adhaya brahmani saptami ek vachana antu brahma adhaya lyap karmani karmani dvitiya ek vachana and it will continue here by saying yoginah yoginah ardhi karta yoginah कर्म कुरुवंती दे परफॉर्म एक्शन्स संगम त्यक्वा आत्मशुद्ध आत्मशुद्ध चतुर्थी एक वचन आत्मन शुद्धि षष्टी तत्पुरुष आत्मन शुद्धि आत्मन अंतकरण 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 से सो षी तत्पुरुष आत्मन इज इक्वल टू अंतकरण से शुद्ध शुद्धि एंड देन चतुर्थी शुद्ध सो आल डायरेक्टली शुद्ध सो वक्ष फर्दर इम द्विप्रकार धर्म निश्रेयस प्रयोजन परमाथ तत्व वासुदेवाख्यम परम ब्रह्म अभिधेय भूत विशेषत अभिव्यंजय वासुदेव ब्रह्म अभिधेय भूत विशेषत अभिव्यंजय अभिव्यंजय विशिष्ट प्रयोजन विशिष्ट 
प्रयोजन संबंध अभिधेयवत अभिधेयवत गीता शास्त्रम सो इम द्विप्रकार धर्म निश्रेय स प्रयोजन परमार्थ तत्व वासुदेवाख्यम परम ब्रह्म अभिधेय भूत विशेषता अभिव्यंजयत विशिष्ट प्रयोजन संबंध अभिधेयवत गीता शास्त्र सो दिस इज लाइक अ संज्ञ इट इज लाइक डेफिनेशन और हाउ हाउ यू वॉन्ट टू पुट इट इट इज इन इट इज अ सेंटेन्स विच इज सेंग दिस इज दिस वॉट इज इट इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट सी वेन एवर एनी शास्त्र इज कॉमेंटेड अपॉन और एनी शास्त्र इज टॉक्ड अबाउट and then further it is commented upon the commentator has to justify that this work one it is worth studying second the bhashya that i am going to write on uh, upon uh, this text that is also worth studying meaning what they should have purpose so considering gita as one vishaya any vishaya you take any any karma any activity that you do it should be fruitful that's what dharma shastra say anything that you do it should be useful therefore this gita shastra let's say uh, this is where you will spend time upon you will study gita shastra then what is its vishaya one what is its phala so what will i get out of investing time money effort whatever you are going to do to study gita what am i going to get out of it so what is the subject matter vishaya what am i going to get out of it so what is its prayojana or phalam third is who is eligible i as in am i eligible for studying this work is there uh, an eligibility criteria before geeta should i study something or who is an eligible candidate for any activity any karma or any study all have adhikaris so who is the adhikari and fourth is what is the sambandha between the shastra and the as in the subject the text that i am going to study and the vishaya and the prayojanam also so sambandha between all of these so there are four things which are to be uh, inquired into what is the vishaya what is the prayojanam who is the adhikari and what is the sambandha among them what is the connection between these because if i study this how will that give me phala if i do this karma how will it give how will it link me to the prayojana so what is the sambandha between the karma or the subject matter here in karma kanda between the karma and the phala here between the text and the subject matter and subject matter the text and the prayojana also phala also how they are they interrelated that is called a sambandha so that is being justified here in this gita shastra what is this gita shastra which has been said earlier gita iti shastra or gita eva shastra gita eva shastram this gita or gita akshya shastram also you can see this shastram called as gita there are many ways to do this amasa what is this gita shastram it is vishishta prayojana it has vishishta prayojana it is abhideya vat so this abhideya vat what is matup pratya <coughs> sorry <coughs> so abhideya vat this gita shastra has what has what these things has vishishta prayojana it has a specific purpose phala it has a sambandha between as in this gita shastra has sambandha with prayojana and vishay also abhideya is vishay here abhideya is that which is denoted denoted here generally denoted literal translation so abhida is the name abhideya is the named just give me a second something getting stuck in my <coughs> just give me a moment please so 
Gita Shastra is uh, what endowed with, has or is endowed with Vishishta Prayana Sambandha and Abhidheya. Abhidheya is, Abhidha means a name and Abhidheya literally means Abhidheya means that which is named, Karmani Vitpatti. So here it is the subject matter which is going to be discussed. Subject matter which will be elaborated by Bhashyakara. This Gita Shastra has Vishishta Prayojana, has a specific purpose. Meaning what? Vishishta meaning what? It does not have Prayojana which is common to others. What you have been doing in Karma Kanda. So Gita Shastra specific, has a specific purpose. Therefore it should be studied. And having a specific result, purpose as in Prayojana is result. It will result in something and the text is connected to that result in some manner which will be inquired into and elaborated by Bhashyakara and it that Vishaya, Vishaya and Prayojana is connected. It has a Vishaya also. It, so it has a particular subject matter which is different. So it is a Vishishta Abhideya also and Vishishta Prayojana also and they have a particular Sambandha. Therefore it should be studied and that is established by Imam Dviprakaram Dharmam. This Dharma uh, actually, uh, see, Vishishta Prayojana Sambandha Abhidheya Vat Gita Shastram Bhavati Varu. Here that same Shastram neuter is Abhivyanjayat. Abhivyanjayat, Abhivyanjayat elsewhere would mean manifesting. Manifesting, here it would mean uh, maybe revealing. So this Gita Shastram is revealing. What is it revealing? Abhivyanjayat, it is going to light up something, it is going to reveal. What is it going to reveal? Visheshata, Visheshata Tasil, specifically, so Tritiyante Tasil, uh, Tritiya, Tritiyarthe Tasil, it is going to specifically reveal Visheshata Abhivenjayat. So Abhivenjayat is that which is revealing, that is which is revealing Shatranta Pada. This Shastram is, going to, is specifically re, revealing what? Abhidheya Bhutam, that subject matter, Abhidheya, we have seen Abhidheya here, Abhidheya Bhutam, Abhidheya Tvam Praptam or Abhidheya Tvena Bhutam, existent in, in, in the way of a Vishaya, subject matter. So it is going to reveal that subject matter. Therefore this becomes Karma for Abhivenjayat. Abhivenjayat is, is in Samanadikran with Shastram. Shastram Abhivenjayat Bhavati. Vishishta Prayojana Sambandha Abhidevat Gita Shastram. So this, uh, these Visheshanas, these Visheshanas for Gita or Gita Shastram tell you that it is something to be studied because it has all the four, uh, it has a, uh, the uh, Anubandha Chatushtayam, that is called Anubandha Chatushtayam. So that Gita Shastram which is endowed with uh, Anubhanda Chatushtaya, that is revealing Samanadi Karanyavida. It is revealing what specifically revealing the subject matter. So therefore, this is karma to Abhivenjayat, to the Gita Shastram which is Abhivenjayat, and all these words are in Samanadi Karanyam with Abhideya Bhutam. All these are in second case. So, Imam Dharmam, this Dharma, which Dharma? This dharma, which is Diprakaram, it has, it is of two types, which has already been explained. Pravritti Lakshana, that is one Prakara, Nivritti Lakshana is another Prakara. This, and both have been shown to be Nishreyasa Prayojanam. They are, both, the, this duet of dharma, one is a direct, uh, direct, um, uh, directly responsible or directly resulting in moksha. Other one, the earlier one, karma kanda, which is pravritti lakshana dharma, that is via chitta shuddhi. So via chitta shuddhi, it is going to be nishreya prayujam. Therefore, both are nishreya sapraujam. Therefore, this, the, uh, this group of two, this duet of viprakaram dharmam imam, nishreya saprayojanam, and what is that? Paramartha tattvam. Param, you have Param, Param, Paramartha, Tattvam, Param, Param, 
परम अर्थ तत्व परमार्थ तत्व और रादर यू कैन से परमार्थ द हाईएस्ट तत्व परमार्थ इज दैट व्हिच हैज द हाईएस्ट गोल व्हिच इज दैट तत्व तत्व इज तस्य भाव तस्य भाव इज तत्व इज विदाउट एनी क्वालिफिकेशन द नाउन तत् प्रोनाउन तत् विल बी व्हाट इट विल बी द विल बी ब्रह्म एंड तस्य भाव और इट विल बी एनीथिंग एनीथिंग यू कैन क्वालिफाई एज अ तत् you can identify with a pronoun all that and therefore tasya bhava is status of each and every thing that you can objectify or not objectify everything will be included and therefore tattvam will mean the reality of each and every thing and here highest reality means the highest reality of everything that highest reality of everything will be paramartha tattvam and that which is called as vasudeva vasudeva akyam it is also called as vasudeva paramatma is called as vasudeva and nishresa prayojanam that dharma imam viprakaram dharma nishresa prayojanam paramartha tattvam reality of paramartha which is called as vasudeva that and which is param brahma vasudeva himself is param brahma that is abhidhe bhutam that is the vishaya and that vishaya visheshata abhivyanjaya revealing that therefore there is vishaya vishishta prayojana sambandha abhideva gita shastram bhavati and due to these reasons since gita manifest or sorry reveals this very tattva therefore it has a vishaya it has vishishta prayojana sambandha between them and abhideyavat which is uh, so this subject matter and the result has a connection and there is it has already been said adhikari adhikari is one who wants moksha by this we can otherwise derive since nishreyasa is the prayojana therefore one who wants nishreyasa is the adhikari and it has already been said viprakaram dharma earlier one who is following karma kanda one who has chitta shuddhi all this has been said by the bhashyakara so all those can be brought in by saying that one who is a karma yogi in gita shastra specifically karma yogi is an adhikari and thereby all the four uh, factors are met here thereby gita shastra has to be studied this is the meaning here yatah it's a simple sentence uh, if once you understand this so karta of the sentence is abhivyanjayat gita shastram with all these qualifications and these are there therefore it should be studied so you have to understand in the context of anubandha chatushtayam yatah tadartha vidyane samasta purushartha siddhi hi atah tad vivarne yatta kriyate maya and finally bhashyakara says what yatah since yatah since tadartha vidyane sati sati saptami tadartha vitasya artha tadartha tadartha तस्य विज्ञाने बोध षष्टी तत्पुरुष तदर्थ से विज्ञाने सती ओनली वेन देर इज नॉलेज ऑफ तदर्थ दिस तदर्थ इज परमार्थ तत्व ऑल दिस वॉट एवर हैज बीन सेड हियर तदर्थ विज्ञाने समस्त पुरुषार्थ सिद्धि पुरुषार्थ सिद्धि सिद्धि इज सक्सेस और अचीवमेंट अचीवमेंट ऑफ वॉट समस्त पुरुषार्थ पुरुषार्थ अर्थ पुरुषाण अर्थ ऑल दिस फोर धर्मार्थ काम एंड मोक्ष धर्मार्थ काम मोक्ष आर फोर पुरुषार्थ सो समस्त इज ऑल ऑफ दोज ऑल ऑफ दोज बिकॉज एक्चुअली मोक्ष इज द फाइनल पुरुषार्थ दैट इज द ओनली पुरुषार्थ बट मोक्ष के नॉट बी अटेन डायरेक्टली बिकॉज वन हैज टू गेट ओवर दी काम एंड अर्थ you need artha for karma and thereby chitta shuddhi karma kanda karma has to be done for chitta shuddhi therefore dharma is needed dharma is karma so the first purushartha but to attain dharma you need uh, attain dharma is to even do some karma if someone tells you okay uh, for moksha you have to just sit in a cave does not work today so uh, even for that to walk out also for basic necessities at least you need something unless you are a sanyasi sanyasi can go and uh, ask for arms but in today's uh, 
society it is not possible, very difficult rather, I should not say impossible but extremely rare, unheard of in today's, uh, uh, very rarely heard. So, uh, therefore, even if one wants to walk off, one has to get jnana. So, for jnana at least one has to study and give oneself time for that, for that, at least for that one needs something, some arrangement has to be there for that, chitta shuddhi is needed and chitta shuddhi needs karma, so how will you do karma unless, so this is not considering a sannyasi, because to become a sannyasi, chitta shuddhi should be enough, even if you say that it is for the pursuit of jnana, there are two types of sannyasa, one is vividisha sannyasa, one is uh, 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 vidvat sannyasa. Vidvat sannyasa is after jnana, but vividisha sannyasa is for veditu micha vividisha. So one wants to know, to get jnana also one has to walk out, but for that also chitta shuddhi is needed. So chitta shuddhi being needed, karma is needed, therefore dharma purushartha is needed. For dharma purushartha, artha purushartha is needed because dharma, you cannot follow karma, vaidika karma without artha, artha is needed. And once artha is there, there is kama also, because not only this will be there, even if one wants to go to moksha, you have to get over the kama, it has to be brought in control and then uh, it should not block your pursuit. Therefore, dharma artha kama is needed, but the entire effort uh, through and through all purushartha is only for the last purushartha, therefore samastha purushartha siddhi is only in the moksha purushartha. Therefore, what ataha, tadartha vidyane, tadartha vidyane here is actually gitartha vidyane, tasya artha, so you can say tasya artha, here gita shastra, it has been said in neuter, so we will use this gita shastra, so gita shastra, shastra which is, which is having the subject matter with all of this, which is said that, so therefore, Gita Shastra Shastraartha Vidyane Samastha Purushartha Siddhi Gita Gita Shastraartha Vidyane Sati Yataha Samastha Samastha Purushartha Siddhi Bhavati Ataha Therefore Tad Vivarani Tad Vivarani is again the same Tad which is in Samana Dekarani with Gita Shastra Gita Shastra Sya Vivarani Shashti Tad Purusha Vivarani Here uh, vivarne, this would be Vishaya Saptami. Tad Vivarane Yatnaha Maya Kriyate. Maya Bhashyakara, Bhagavan Bhashyakara says, by me Kriyate. Something is done. What is done? Effort is taken. So, effort is taken. Yatnaha Kriyate, Karmani Prayoga, Maya. Karta goes in third case. So, effort is taken by me in elaboration. Tad Tad vivarana vishaye maya yatna kriyate because why this is explained here because only after understanding this through the vivarana I'll elaborate and after understanding understanding that alone there can be purushartha siddhi samastha purushartha siddhi so this is the introductory bhashya any questions so far otherwise we'll move to the uh, shloka proper any questions Vyakrana or otherwise, I think simple enough, okay. Uh, this I had already done for the Lagu class, some 25 shlukas, so we will continue here and uh, expand uh, whatever is needed. I tried a couple of formats, so the format will keep on changing, uh, so please bear with that. So it starts with Dhritarashtra Uvacha. So Dhritarashtra Kuru said, Uvacha Litlakara, he said, who Dhritarashtra ha, so Visarga Lopa has happened. As per Laghu Prakriya, Visarga Lopa has happened, but it's actually Hala Sandhi. This Sandhi where Visarga may not be born also. Anyway, what did he say? He say as in, Uvacha, he said, what did he, so what was said was this, Dharma Kshetre, Kuru Kshetre, Samaveta, Yuyutsavaha, Mamakaf Pandavas Cheva, Kiva Kuruvata, Sanjaya. Hey Sanjaya, he said, 
हे संजय संबोधना आदेश इट बिकम्स उच एनी थिंग्स सम चेंजेस हैपन एंड देन द फॉर्म इज इन लिटल अकार इज उच यू सी इट टेक्स इट बिकम्स वच आई थिंक सो वच वच एंड देन उच सो वच दिस इज वन वे अदर वे इज वच परिभाषण प्लस लिट सो अदर वे ऑल्सो इट कैन बी सो देर आर टू धातु विच गिव अमिलर फॉर्म बट द आइडिया इज इट इज लिटल अकार सो धृतराष्ट्र सेट वॉट डिड ही से हे संजय ही सेड एंड टू संजय सो धर्म क्षेत्र कुरुक्षेत्र सप्तमी एक वचन धर्म क्षेत्र इन धर्म क्षेत्र कुरुक्षेत्र विच इज अ कुरुक्षेत्र समवेता युयुत्सव युयुत्सव समपूर्वक संपूर्वक अवपूर्वक इन गौ धातु एंड तह त प्रत्यय समवेता सो आर नॉट युयुत्सव समवेता Assembled. So those who are assembled, who are these who are assembled? Yuyut Sava, Yod uh, Yodhum Ichcha Sava. Those who are desirous of this is a Yuyut Sava is a Sananta Dhatu, not Yuyut Sava. Yuyut Sa Yuyut Sa is a Sananta Dhatu, and then uh, with U Pratyal, one Mumukshu, you will get Moktu Michu Mumuksha Mumuksha. मुमुक्षा यू से विथ भाव भाव प्रत्यय यू से भावे प्रत्यय यू से मुमुक्षा सिमिलरली हियर जिज्ञासा मुमुक्षा सो युयुत् सो युयुत् सव विल बी प्लूरल ऑफ युयुत्सु उ प्रत्यय लाइक मुमुक्षु जिज्ञासु यू गेट युयुत्सु योद्धु मिच्छु वन हु इज डिजायरस ऑफ फाइटिंग द बैटल इज युयुत्सु एंड इन प्लूरल लाइक गुरुवत गुरु गुरु गुरव सिमिलर युयुत्सु युयुत्सु युयुत्सव सो दीज पीपल हू आर एसेंबल्ड दे आर एसेंबल्ड नॉट टू वॉच दे आर एसेंबल्ड टू फाइट डिजायर ऑफ फाइटिंग वेर आर दे एसेंबल्ड समवेता एसेंबल्ड इन कुरुक्षेत्र धर्म क्षेत्र विच इज धर्म क्षेत्र एंड हू आर दीज युयुत्सव In the mind of Dhritarashtra, who are these? He is addressing Sanjaya. Hey, Sanjaya. Oh, Sanjaya. These who are assembled to fight, and who are these in his mind? Mamakaha Pandavascha. Ev. Mamakaha. Mamaka is a tadditha, which says my mine related to me. So tadditha is a basic vritti is samanda. Shasti. षष्टि इज दी बेसिक मीनिंग षष्टि संबंध षष्टि सो दैट इज दी मीनिंग बेसिक मीनिंग फॉर तद्दित एंड दिस मीन्स माइन सो इन हिज माइंड पांडवाज आर नॉट माइन पांडवा च सो पांडवाज आर सम वन एल्स एंड मामका आर दिस कौरवाज आर मामका दे आर माइन सो दीज हू आर एसेंबल टू फाइट आर इन बोथ पार्टीज बट दे सम आर माइन दीज पांडवाज आर नॉट माइन देअर फोर ही कॉल्स पांडवाज बाय The name both are Kaurava because both belong to Kuru family. But for only these Kauravas, which are Mamaka, their mind in his mind, Duryodhana Ityadi, his children and Pandavas are somebody else. So what these who are assembled in Dharma Kshetra, Kuru Kshetra, indeed Kim Akurvata, hey Sanjay, Kim Akurvata, Langlakara, what did they do? So what did they do? He is asking. After having assembled there, what did they do? Or who are assembled there? What did they do? He is asking because there is a time delay. Sanjay is seeing it and giving a live broadcast as though later, but there is a delay. What what did they do? So this is the question here. Anvaya would be Hey Sanjay, Mama kaha Pandavascha, Dharma Kshetra, Kuru Kshetra, Samaveta ha, Yuyut Sava ha, Eva Kima Kuruvata. So there are other ways to. do the uh, anvaya also you can say dharma kshetra kuru kshetra mamaka so you can better to put this earlier he sanjay dharma kshetra kuru kshetra mamaka ha pandavascha ha pandavascha samaveta yuyutsava 
kim akuru hota so ava is difficult to put where to put it so you can see whichever is the wherever it sounds the best you can shift it there so that's the first shloka sanjay replied so sanjay uvacha he replied same uvacha like earlier little akara sanjay ha sanjay ha uvacha visarga lopa drushtva tu pandava nikam yudam duryodhana stada aacharya upasangamya raja vachanam abravit abravit so first you search for uh, equivalent uh, verb or verb equivalent abravit is a verb then drushtva twa twa anta so having seen having seen tu so tu can be a filler uh, sometimes in the shloka tu can be used as a filler or it can have specific meanings if you look, look through tikas some of the tikas will elaborate as to why what this tu means wa, what evakara means here it may not be filler what cha means all these are elaborated in some tikas specifically madhusura saraswati uh, uh, he mentions so bhagwan madhusura saraswati gives each and meaning for each and chakara evakara also and two ityadi so other places it may be in contrast or uh, on the other hand and extending a particle or it can have a specific meaning which the tikas would bring out so drushtva tu pandava nikam yudam duryodhana stada acharyam upasangamya raja vachanam abravi so basic sentence is what abravit raja vachanam abravit raja vachanam uh, abravit spoke lang lakara so abravit what did he speak he spoke vachanam he spoke so vachanam is a sentence he spoke some sentence what sentence and to whom so there who is this raja raja is duryodhana in first case duryodhana tada pandavanikam pandavanikam drushtva so pandavanikam is a karma yudham pandavanikam tu drushtva having seen duryodhana having seen the army yudham drushtva seeing this army uh, acharyam upasangamya upasangamya lebanta having approach having approach whom therefore karma to that is acharyam second case of acharya acharyam upasangamya vachanam abravi so tada pandava anikam yudham drushtva having uh, seen this formation of the army of pandavas anikam army of pandava so pandavanam anikam yudham yudham which is uh, assembled together so formation you can say formation of this army of pandavas having seen that who raja duryodhana now interestingly look at this raja duryodhana here i think madhusudana saraswati or someone brings this out that uh, sanjay is talking to uh, dhritarashtra but he calls his son as raja so this is another way uh, tikakaras bring out the meaning that uh, actually dhritarashtra is not fit to be a raja he can't even see so uh, and it is not uh, said that only blind by eyesight he is actually blind by everything he is blinded by his children blinded by a lot of things therefore he is not fit to be a raja so it is seen that this raja duryodhana is said in such a manner that your son is a raja you are not a raja so that's another way to look at it so tikakaras bring this out uh, where uh, they find some uh, more meaning hidden in the word raja here so this raja duryodhana acharya having approached the acharya he spoke what did he speak so next shloka पश्येतां पांडुपुत्राणां आचार्य महतीं चमु यूढां द्रुपद पुत्रेण तव शिष्येण धीमता सो ही अप्रोच आचार्य हैविंग अप्रोच दी आचार्य व्हाट डिड ही से सो देयर यू सी पश्य ही सेड पश्य पश्ये इज मध्य पुरुष एक वचन सेज हैव अ लुक प्लीज हैव अ लुक सो लोट लकार मध्य पुरुष एक वचन प्लीज हैव अ लुक इट कैन सी लोट लकार 
elsewhere you will see different uh, uh, interpretations order etc one cannot go and order the acharya so it is it has all the meanings of vidhiling lot lakar also so based on the context you have to interpret here pashe please have a look o acharya so he acharya acharya you see this pandu putra naam acharya i am not doing padacheda here if there is difficulty please let me know he acharya pashya have a look please have a look etam this so have a look what is the acharya uh, pashya what is the karma to pashya etam pandu putra naam mahatim chamu so mahatim chamu mahat chamu means uh, the army and uh, strilinga chamu chamu is the army second case will be the karma to this pashya have a look at what look at what therefore that becomes a karma so kim pashya chamum pashya so when is kim is in neuter because you don't know what, what the karma is if you know the karma is trilinga then you say kam pashya kam pashya chamum pashya what chamum etam this this very in front of your eyes etam which can be directly seen and how what is it mahatim <coughs> mahatim it is big so look have a look at this mighty army हे आचार्य हैव अ लुक एट दिस माइटी आर्मी हूज आर्मी सो हूज आर्मी विद दैट आकांक्षा षष्टी इज बीन सप्लाइड हियर पांडु पुत्र नाम ऑफ पुत्र ऑफ पांडु सो आर्मी ऑफ सन्स ऑफ पांडु सो षष्टी तत्पुरुष देर ऑल्सो विच इज वॉट व्यूढ़ाम व्यूढ़ाम इट इज फॉर्म व्यूढ़ाम इज सी व्यूढ़ा इज अम दिस चमूम इज एन आर्मी एंड not an army army formation so therefore it is which has been formed in so there are some segments even in in military army you have the segments of uh, units <coughs> the way they have to be formed so uh, which set of uh, uh, soldiers goes where so that is has to be created by the leaders of the units and then the uh, whoever makes the plan so therefore vyudham Vyudham again second case. Vyudham chamum pashya, which has been created, created by whom? Drupada putre na. Drupada putra son of Drupada. It has been created by son of Drupada, and then further he taunts the acharya. Tavashishe na. He dhimata dhimata is matupanta. Tritya dhimata dhimat is the pratipadikam. In Pullinga it will be dhiman. So dhi asya asti iti dhi man. One who has dhi, everyone has dhi. Everyone has dhi is buddhi. Everyone has buddhi, but lot of buddhi. I mean something which is which stands out. Therefore, he is intelligent. By an intelligent drupad putra, it has by intelligent drupad putra, it has been created. What has been created? This mighty army has been. put together or form assembled together in a particular battle formation by drupada putra who is intel who is an intel who is intelligent and not only that further he taunts the acharya tava shishyena you have trained him and he is finding a forming a battle formation to fight against us so this is this can be seen as a taunt you know tava shishyena drupada putrena dhimata uh, etam mahatim chamu पांडुपुत्र महतीम चमू व्यूढ़ा पश्य सो हे आचार्य तव धीमता शिष्येण द्रुपद पुत्रेण व्यूढ़ा पांडुपुत्र महतीम चमू पश्य सो पांडु द्रुपद द्रुपद पुत्रेण व्यूढ़ा सो व्यूढ़ा वी हेज कनेक्शन विथ द्रुपद पुत्र हु द्रुपद पुत्रेण व्यूढ़ा इट हेज बीन क्रिएटेड और एसेंबल्ड बाय द्रुपद पुत्र हैव अ लुक एट दैट माइटी आर्मी then there is a list of uh, there is few shlokas which are just listing so have a look look at what he is saying atra shura maheshvasa bhima arjuna samayudi yuyudhano viratasya drupadasya maharatah drushtakeetu chiketa chekitanah kashirajasya virivan purujit kunti bhojasya shaibyascha narapungavah 
ಯುಧಾಮನ್ಯುಶ್ಚ ವಿಕ್ರಾಂತ ಉತ್ತಮೌಜಾಶ್ಚ ವೀರ್ಯವಾನ್ ಸೌಭದ್ರೋ ದ್ರೌಪದೇಯಾಶ್ಚ ಸರ್ವ ಇವ ಮಹಾರಥ ಸೊ ಇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಐ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದೀಸ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಯುಯುಧಾನೋ ವಿರಾಟಶ್ಚ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಕೌಂಟಿಂಗ್ ದ್ರುಪದಶ್ಚ ಮಹಾರಥ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಮಹಾರಥ ಮಹಾನ್ ರಥ ಯ ಸಹ ಮಹಾರಥ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ದ್ರುಪದ ಸೊ ದ್ರುಪದ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೋ ವಿತ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಹೌ ಎವರ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮಹಾರಥಿ ಹೂ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ಮಹಾರಥ ಸೊ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾಶಿರಾಜ್ಯ ವೀರ್ಯವಾನ್ ಸೊ ವೀರ್ಯವಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವೀರ್ಯ ಅಸ್ಸಿ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಇತಿ ಮತು ಸೊ ವೀರ್ಯ ವತ್ ಇನ್ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ವೀರ್ಯವಾನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾಶಿ ರಾಜ ಕಾಶಿ ನಗರ ರಾಜ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಪದ ಲೋಪ ಹಿಯರ್ ದೆನ್ ಪುರುಜಿತ್ ಪುರುಜಿತ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಸಂಜ್ಞಾ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅ ನೇಮ್ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿ ಅನ್ ಉಪಪದ ತತ್ ಪುರುಷ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಅ ನೇಮ್ ಕುಂತಿ ಭೋಜ ಶೈಭ ಇನ್ ನರಪುಂಗ ಯುಧಾಮನ್ಯು ವಿಕ್ರಾಂತ no one else uh, i mean nothing else specifically nothing else just names <coughs> so you can just say atra shuraha all these this list list them bhavanti and just add bhavanti because it's in plural and further it is what yudhi ya uh, yudha manushya it is uh, just a second anything else i have missed here is there a typo here not sure no um. oh yeah okay yudhi is here okay so atra yudhi atra yudhi so atra yudhi this is saptami ekvachana in this battle you know in this battle all these so atra yudhi shuraha maharata bhavanti all of these further we'll see in the next part ha any questions here ಓಕೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಗಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಠ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ತತ್